scripture for the sermon Catholic Spirit is found in 2 Kings chapter 10, verse 15. When Jehu met Jehonadab, son of Rechab, coming to meet him, he greeted him and said to him, Is your heart as true to mine as mine is to yours? Jehonadab answered, It is. Jehu said, If it is, give me your hand. All humankind is due love. Christians are to be known by their love for one another. But there are barriers to loving other Christians, for we do not all think or behave alike. But can we be of one heart? Let's look at the two parts of our biblical text. Jehonadab had definite opinions about the expected behavior of his relatives. Jehu had other opinions, yet they did not separate. It is clear that not all people see things alike, for we are all susceptible to mistaken opinions. We all have our prejudices, and it is wise to give some liberty regarding others' opinions. Jehonadab also worshipped differently from Jehu. Even today there are various ways of worshipping God among Christians, so we should act according to the best light that we have. No one can dictate what church we must join, and no one can impose a style of worship or mode of baptism or form of prayer on another. But do you believe in God? Do you walk by faith? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, and does he dwell in you? Do you love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? Are you doing God's will? Are you glorifying God in everything you do? Do you earnestly fear God's majesty and judgment? Do you love your neighbor and enemies? Do you do good to all? Then our hearts are true to each other. Give me your hand in fellowship and service. I am not saying that you must have the same opinion as I do. I am not saying you must worship as I do. But love me as a brother in Christ. Love me as God loves me in holy love, and pray for me that I will earnestly do the will of God. Encourage me to continue good works in love, and join me in God's work, and let us go forward hand in hand. And I will do the same for you and all other Christians. But do not misunderstand me. A Catholic spirit is not speculative latitudinarianism. In other words, it is not an indifference to all beliefs, nor is it holding confused understandings. A person who has no settled biblical principles is completely adrift. So learn the basic truths of the gospel, and then you will reflect a true Catholic spirit. A Catholic spirit is not practical latitudinarianism, for it is not an indifference to the practice or mode of worshiping God, nor is it an indifference to one's local congregation where the means of grace are administered. Rather, it is being committed to one fellowship, but open to love all humankind. It is a desire to cooperate with and love all Christians in spite of different opinions. This is universal Catholic love. Therefore, continue to grow, grounded in true love until you are taken up into God's eternal love.